Okay guys, so for this dish, which is a uh, crock pot, chicken, vegetables, and stuffing mix, you're going to need your chicken, which I clean, and I'm wearing gloves because I always wear gloves when I'm handling chicken. So you're gonna need chicken. You can use chicken breast or um, whatever pieces you like. Now, I'm using what I have in my fridge and freezer, so I have some chicken uh, strips. So I took about maybe nine or 10 of the strips, cleaned them and cut them in half. You're going to need the cream of chicken condensed soup. You're going to need some stove top stuffing. Now, if you don't want to use the stove top stuffing, you can also use the bag seasoning, which is another brand that I use, but I'm using the um, stove top because I want to save that for a different dish. You're going to need your veggies. Now, these are some mixed vegetables that I got at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some chicken broth, which I picked up at all these a while back. And of course, your crock pot. Now for this dish, you can either cook it for two hours or three. I'm thinking two or three because it's chicken um, tenderloins, I mean chicken strips, as opposed to actual um, chicken breast. One second, I need a, I need a knife there. So I need a knife to open up my veggies because I already used my scissors for the um, cutting up the chicken. So what I like to do is, now you can either layer your vegetables on the top or on the bottom. You're gonna just layer them on the bottom of your crock pot and I kinda um, smooth that out pretty, pretty good. And you know, at all times, my lawn guy is now he's outside cutting the grass, but I already got this started so I can't stop at this point. So um, I apologize for, um, I apologize for the noise. Now what I like to do is I like to take the stuffing Put it in a bowl and I like the stove top stuffing because it's pre-seasoned and then I'm gonna take my cream of chicken soup and add that in and again I apologize for the grass cutting but now he was not out there when I got started and now all of a sudden he showed up and I can't stop now. <laughs> so you're gonna take that, and I like to mix the two together, and maybe just add a little bit of the chicken broth. There you go. Stir that up. Now mix that up really well. I'm getting stuff all over the counter. Oh, and this is a new set of gloves. I did um, change my gloves after cooking the, cutting up the chicken. So you're gonna just mix that really, really well. You can add more or less chicken broth however much uh, you want to add because I like mine a little loose. So I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm going to come back and start layering and show you what it looks like. So here we go. So I have the um, vegetables, the mixed vegetables in there. Uh, where's my tongs? Where are my tongs? Okay, so I'm gonna have to use the. I'm just gonna use the knife. Then you're gonna start layering your chicken on top of your veggies. Just get them all layered in there. Now 
Now, once you got them all layered in there, then you can move them around. And I'll show you guys what this uh, looks like once I put the lid on. So I got that all in there. And then you're going to layer your stuffing mixture on top of all of that. Now, don't forget, we did put our vegetables. Now, this dish does call for some um, sour cream if you have it. But it's not like a must. It just makes it creamier. I didn't have a sour, any sour cream and I'm using, I'm using what I have in the house. So that's how that is. So this is what the mixture looks like inside of the crock pot. Again, I have the mixed vegetables layered on the bottom. You can use whatever vegetable you prefer, fresh, frozen, um, or canned. And then I layered my chicken. Then I layered my stuffing and uh, cream of chicken soup again you can use um, some sour cream inside of it if you like but again I'm trying to use what I have in my home and not have to go out and shop so now I'm going to set the crock pot timer on four hours and again I also set the timer on the stove and come back and check it in two hours because the pieces were chicken strips pretty thick chicken strips cut in half so um, I'll come back and let you see what the final dish looks like so here's the final meal when it's all done it's nicely done I am gonna put it on a plate and give it a little taste but you can see bits of the chicken some carrots from the, the vegetables there so it looks and tastes I hope really good I have tried it before so I know it's gonna taste good and i did keep a second can of the cream of chicken condensed soup um if you add if you want like a little bit more gravy to put on top and now you can serve this dish with um just some dinner rolls um you don't really need any other uh veggie because there's another there's a vegetable underlay underneath so let's plate this sucker up so guys, here is the uh, finished meal. You can see you got your chicken, your stuffing, and your mixed veggies. And I'm going to um, try this out. Get a little piece of chicken in there. See how that tastes. Mmm, that's delicious. That is really delicious. Um, sorry about um filming off camera, um, but my hair is a wreck. Uh, beauty supply stores are closed as well as hair salons and um, just wanted to jump on and do this really quick uh, so if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel leave me a comment give me a thumbs up and let me know if you will be trying this uh, meal and it's excellent because you could just put it all in a crock pot and let it cook while you do other things like maybe some cleaning around the house. So bye guys. Stay blessed.